Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some fragrances that I picked up or that have been sent to me over the last couple of months. Um, lately, I have been all about the fragrance. I don't know if it's the weather change. I mean, I'm in Florida, so today is like really the first day that it really feels like fall. <laughs> but because we're in that fall, Christmassy time of year, I feel like I am more attracted to fragrance at this time of year. I mean, I love fragrance year round but for some reason lately I have been really really into it so I have picked up quite a few so I would like to share them with you if you're interested in that then just keep watching all right so I'm going to share with you all the fragrances that I've picked up some of them I've worn some of them I have not worn and I'll kind of tell you a little bit about them and I actually have one major fail well not major fail but it's a fail <laughs> so um first up I'm just gonna grab out of my little bag I have here but uh, the first fragrance that I have here is Scandal and this is by Jean-Paul Gaultier this is the Eau de Parfum version yes um, I picked this up from Amazon and I picked it up because it's a honey fragrance now if you've watched any of my fragrance videos before then you will know that I don't want to get on here and read you the notes However, I will try to insert them for you in the video or either in the description box uh, because I know that's important to people. It's important to me when I'm talking about when I'm looking for a fragrance. But I don't want to sit here and read to you and prolong the time. So I'm going to just tell you how I feel about it and, you know, what it smells like to me and what it reminds me of or what type of person it may be for. That's the way that I like to describe fragrances. So back to this one. This is Scandal. And this is definitely a honey scented fragrance this one is pretty pretty strong so i've worn this a couple times now but i have to say it has to be this to me this is better suited for colder weather because it's pretty strong and if i wear this and it's too hot and i'm sweating it just can get to be a little bit too much um, but i do really enjoy it it's sweet but also a little bit of spice but mostly just sweet it really just smells like honey it reminds me of mark jacob dot i think that's what it's called is it dot the the honey one if if that's wrong i will definitely write it here in the video <laughs> but <clears throat> it reminds me of that one except this is definitely stronger and more a little bit more complex like something underneath it is a bit deeper if that makes sense but yeah this is it's a really nice fragrance i don't know how i feel about the bottle uh, with the legs on it it's not bad. I mean, it definitely stands out in my collection. <laughs> uh, but I'm glad I picked it up. And it's very different than things that I own besides the dot. But like I said, this is more like a winter time. Winter or uh, fall time fragrance. Next up is one that I actually showed you guys in a vlog. But this is Angel Muse. And if you like Angel, you will definitely like this. This smells like Angel, but with some chocolate added on it. Now, I have found that uh, the Mugler perfumes last on me literally all day. These are probably my longest lasting perfumes. Maybe not exactly the longest lasting, but pretty long lasting. <laughs> like a full 8-10 hour day, they will definitely last. Um, so, to me, this smells like Angel, but with some chocolate in it. I really, really like this. Um, to me, it may be a little bit... Maybe slightly lighter than Angel. Um, maybe slightly more appealing to some people. Um, because I know Angel can kind of be like a hit or miss for a lot of people. So if you smell Angel before and you like it but it's too strong for you, this may be a good option because it kind of has that, that chocolatey undertone that makes it a little bit sweeter. And I don't know, just like, I don't know. It smells really good. <laughs> Definitely recommend this. I found it at... Marshalls, I think, for I think $45. And this is the Oda Parfum version. Uh, the size is 1.7 fluid ounces. The only thing I don't like about this is that it does not stand up, so you have to lay it, which I don't really like displaying my perfume like that. Okay, next I have the perfume that I'm wearing today, and this is Ariana Grande Cloud. And I'm not like an Ariana Grande fan, <laughs> but if you've heard, if you watch any fragrance videos, then I'm sure you've heard of Baccarat Rouge 540. And I saw some comparisons to this. And so 
I'm not really ready to drop the money on Baccarat Rouge 540. I don't know why. Like, it's expensive, yes, but for some reason, I don't know, I'm just not ready to drop that kind of cash on it. Maybe because there's nowhere I can smell it really in my area, so maybe when I go out of town or something, I smell it, maybe I'll change my mind, but I heard this was similar, and for the price of this, I figured I would try it. Now, I do not like the bottle, but I do like the fragrance inside. To me, it smells very different than anything i own it kind of has like a soapy smell like kind of a clean smell but then also kind of a spicy smell it's very very different and as i've been wearing it today i sprayed some of it on my sweater as <laughs> one of you guys gave me a tip in my last video i sprayed some on my sweater and so i feel like i've been kind of smelling it all day um and i really have been enjoying this um it's it's not super strong it's kind of like people will smell it on you but to me it's not like overly strong so i probably sprayed on myself today mm, probably about five sprays yeah i think five sprays and i definitely didn't feel like it was too much but i could smell it now like i was saying i do not like the bottle of this and when i got it it came with this big clout thing on it and i was so like ugh, disgusted by the bottle I didn't think I could get the cloud off, so I went ahead and ordered this from Amazon, which is just an empty perfume bottle um, that you can pour a fragrance into. I just haven't actually switched it over yet. I was able to get the cloud off, <laughs> so it's not as bad without the cloud on it. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to go through the trouble of trying to decant this into here. Um, because this is a 3.4 ounce bottle and I believe this is only like 1.7 ounces. So I don't know if I want to take the time to do that. But I don't like this bottle. I really wish she would have done like something. Like even if she just did like a regular top. I like the circle and I like the blue. I don't like this cloud thing. It looks very juvenile and the fragrance doesn't smell like a juvenile fragrance. So I definitely recommend this. I Where did I pick mine up from? either Amazon or FragranceNet. Um, I know I didn't pay more than $40 for the large size. So, or more than more than $50. I think I paid maybe like $45, but I think the smaller size was probably like 35 or something like that. So you can definitely find this on a deal. So definitely check out Amazon. If I go, after I film this video, if I see that I did get a good price on it from Amazon, I'll try to link that down below. But uh, yeah, definitely look for a deal on this if you're interested and I can't comment on if it smells like the Rouge 540 or not, but it does smell really good. The next fragrance that I have is by probably my favorite brand of perfumes altogether. Um, I'm really loving this brand <laughs> lately and previously, so it's by none other than Mr. Tom Ford himself. Uh, this is the new one from Tom Ford. It's called Metallique or Metallique. Um, and I like the bottle. I actually was walking through Neiman Marcus one day with my husband and I saw the bottle and I sprayed it on one of those spray cards and I, I thought about how good it smelled but I'm like, oh, I don't need to be buying any perfumes. And this was before this haul kind of like commenced. This was the first one that I bought. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Um... So I sprayed it on the spray card, went home, had it in my car. Like two days later, I came back and smelled it again. And I was like, oh, I love it. And it was still on that spray card. Now, of course, it doesn't last that long on the body. But on that paper, it smelled so good. So I had a gift card uh, to Sephora. So I ordered this and I love it. Now, I will say that it doesn't, it's not like super... It doesn't have like a lot of projection so a lot of people are not going to smell it on you even though i do get compliments on this it's not like something that when you walk in the room everybody's going to smell you they kind of have to be close to you so just keep that in mind because i know some people like fragrances that everybody can smell and some people are fine with the smell that only uh, a fragrance that only people around them can smell so i love the scent of this it smells familiar but also different um so it smells like you can definitely smell some warmness in it, some sweetness, um, maybe some vanilla, but then it has that like metallic smell. Um, it's really hard to explain, but it, it definitely has a metallic smell, just like the name, but it works. It's like, 
it's not too far out there like I feel like this would be a crowd pleaser like I think a lot of people will really like the way this smells um so yeah maybe if you see it in store spray it on the car and see what you think about it but I definitely love this um I picked it up in the smallest bottle and this is an older parfum yes this is 1.7 ounces and it's Tom Ford so it ain't cheap but I'm enjoying having this and I love the way it looks in my <laughs> my perfume display next up from Tom Ford is a body spray and this is tobacco vanille so the reason that I ended up getting this body spray is because I saw it at the outlet and I was in there looking for the actual perfume of this but they didn't have it they had the body spray and so with the price like discount that they had going on I got it for $35 which is very very reasonable I think these are I think that was 50% off so I think these are regularly $70 but I got this for $35 the actual perfume I think the smallest bottle is $150 this was a way for me to try out tobacco vanille without making that $150 <laughs> um, commitment to it so when the Sephora sale came around, I actually had Tobacco Vanille perfume in my cart for Sephora and I had the next fragrance I'm going to show you and I decided to just go with one because, I mean, money. <laughs> so I'm glad that I was able to find this body spray because I love this scent and I love it so much that I know I'm going to get the fragrance, um, like the actual perfume. I know I'm going to get it. I just don't know when. I'm going to try to wait till maybe I get a gift card or something. I think I have an Ebates gift card coming soon, so I'm probably going to try to wait until that. But I know I'm definitely getting it because I love this. I've actually been using this at night. Oh my gosh, this one smells so good. It's like, I didn't even describe the scent to y'all. <laughs> so it's like smoky and sweet, just as the name says. It definitely can be a unisex fragrance. Um but to me it doesn't smell too masculine so yeah definitely sweet and smoky and spicy and good and you just need to smell it and with the body spray i can i spray it probably about four times on myself i don't know about the perfume i know that is definitely going to be stronger so i don't know if that would be like a little bit overwhelming if you spray it a lot uh but this one ugh, it's love I've been wearing it a bit too like it's so good it's a little bit hot where I live except for today so I've been wearing this when I can <laughs> but I don't feel like this is very suitable for warm weather this is more of a cold weather scent so I've been wearing it a bit actually like quite a bit like at least six times I've worn this a bit since I got it and then the other Tom Ford fragrance that I got is Lost Cherry. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because I did mention this in a vlog too. I picked this up in the Sephora sale. I love it. Um, it smells like cherries and almond. It's just so good. It has like a little bit of a powdery or vanilla scent to it as well. It just smell, it smells really good. Very sweet. Different and I've been getting compliments on this and this is one of those fragrances though um I feel like you may not smell it on yourself and the fragrance definitely does change but I kind of want to go over that more in a different either video or blog post but um you may not smell it on yourself but other people will I've gotten a lot of compliments on this since I've gotten it and I've only had it like a week and I've been complimented by at least about four people I know that doesn't sound like a lot to y'all <laughs> But based on the people that I'm around in my day-to-day -day life, to me, that's a lot to me. And my husband actually complimented me on this. And, you know, he smells fragrances on me all the time. So when he compliments me saying, oh, that smells good, what are you wearing? Then it, it really makes me feel good. So, yeah, this is Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. All right, so I'm looking at the time on this video, and I feel like I'm taking too long. So I'm going to try to speed up. But... I ordered this. This is Lolita Lumpika Sweet. And this is also a cherry fragrance. And I ordered this because I saw a review saying that it was similar to Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. However, this bottle I think I paid, I know I paid less than $30 for. I think it's like $25. So I wanted to try it out and see how it compared. And if you want to hear my thoughts on that, check out my blog post. But I would highly recommend this. It is it does smell like cherry. 
and yeah just make sure you read my blog post to find out more next fragrance i have is another gourmand scent and this is dolce and gabbana the only one and i smell this in the department store i was actually in there to look at lancome idole the one with the really pretty bottle but i ended up not really liking it. i mean i liked it but i didn't feel like i needed it but while i was in there i saw this and i took a whiff of it and it smells delish it's a caramel scented fragrance it's really sweet and it has a little tiny bit of spice but it's mainly just like sweet caramel and this will be great for the fall and winter great as a bedtime scent great if you just love gourmands which i do and i really i've been enjoying i've only worn it like twice now i think but i really really like it like i sprayed it on my hand in the store and i could not just i could not stop smelling my hand as i walked through the mall i didn't buy it right then i actually purchased it online from fragrance net and i think i paid probably about 40 something dollars for it i know you're probably sick of me mentioning fragrance net but honestly i like buying perfume from there um this is not the first time i order from them they're a reputable site and you can get some really good prices and you can even buy testers which when i ordered this one i think it was classified as a tester because it didn't come with the actual box but it was in perfect condition condition and they are guaranteed authentic and like i said i've been ordering for them from them for years so i completely trust that website so if you've never tried fragrance net check them out i know some people do get sponsorships from them i'm not one of them i'm just somebody who buys from them so <laughs> so next up is a fragrance that was a fail for me and i actually returned it but i wanted to tell you guys about it uh this is replica coffee break and I ordered this from Nordstrom. Uh, it's a Nordstrom exclusive right now, but when I saw the description of it, I was like, I have to have it. And I had Nordstrom notes, so I didn't, I think I paid like $5 for it, <laughs> plus tax. So, you know, I was like all about that. Um, however, I took it back. When I ordered it, they actually had the sample on there to um, that you could pick. So I picked the sample so I didn't actually open the box. That way I didn't end up wasting the fragrance. I just opened the sample and tried it for a couple days and realized it wasn't for me. Um, so like I said, this is called Coffee Break. It says it's supposed to smell like coffee and milk and lavender. But to me, all I get is the lavender. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't smell good. But every time I wear it, I feel like I feel nauseous, like uh, so weird. I don't, I don't usually get that way from fragrances, but I feel like this fragrance gives me a headache and makes me nauseous. And I don't know if it's because it kind of has that masculine undertone, like that spice. Like I like spicy fragrances, but to me, this one smells definitely more manly than what I would like. And I don't know if it's just too strong. And I, I asked my husband what he thought about it and he didn't like it either. Not that he didn't like it. I mean, I like, overall, I like the scent of it, but I don't love it, and I can't really see myself wearing this, so I took it back. Um, to me, like I said, all I get is the lavender, maybe a little bit of something else. It's kind of hard to describe to me, but honestly, it doesn't smell like coffee and milk at all to me, so I don't know. Maybe I just can't smell anything else in it, but... I've seen reviews on this fragrance and, it, and people say it smells like coffee and milk, but to me it doesn't, so I don't know. So I took that back, I actually took it back today and exchanged it for Replica by the Fireplace. <laughs> so this one has been out a while and obviously I haven't worn this one because I'm opening it now. But this one is definitely smite, spicy and smoky, which I like. Um, it smells like you're sitting by a fireplace and it actually reminds me of marshmallow fireside candle from bath and body works which is my favorite all-time favorite bath and body works candle so i love the scent of it hopefully it doesn't smell too manly on me because this is unisex as well but i don't think it will i honestly don't like i i sprayed it on my hand in the store but i didn't spray it like because i had other perfume on so i sprayed it on my hand in the store and walked around and i love the way it smelled um but it's not like overpowering it's just a little smoky a little sweet um very comforting definitely perfect for this time of year and then the last fragrance or not the last fragrance almost the last fragrance <laughs> the last fragrance that i purchased is pink sugar from aqualina 
<laughs> which has been around forever and ever. It's like the cheapest fragrance ever, but people always rave about how good this smells, even though it's a cheap fragrance. I got this for $15. Um, I always see it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but I bought it from one of those little perfume stores at the outlet mall for $15. And I smelled it in there and it does smell good. It's like sugar, like cotton candy. It's like, yeah, it's like a cotton candy smell. Maybe a little bit of vanilla in there. Um, definitely a very lighthearted, playful scent. I'm not sure how much use I'm going to get out of this, but... I don't know a lot of people talk about it and it's only $15 and I do like sweet fragrances and even if I just use it for a bedtime scent then I will be okay with that uh, I just had to get it like I've heard about this for years and years and years and finally I was just like let me, let me just try it. it's only $15 if I don't like it it's okay so that's it for the fragrances that I purchased I did get sent some fragrances from the company called layered so I'm gonna quickly go through them um, now they sent these to me they did not pay me to make this video they did not say that i had to share them with you but i wanted to share them with you so let's get into it they sent me three full size bottles and they also sent me a couple of, like sample sizes too so first up is dark temptation and the, let me tell you a little bit about layer so they have a couple different types of fragrances on their website um they have fragrances that are kind of like dupes of other more high-end fragrances and then they have like their original creations that they've come up with and then they have single note fragrances which are meant to be layered or worn alone but they're just like simple single note fragrances that so they reached out to me and asked me if they could send me some and i kind of told them what kind of fragrances i liked yeah so here we are with the fragrances and i have to say i am actually pleasantly surprised i am not a person who goes around looking to buy cheaper fragrances um looking for not popular fragrances i don't really do that so i didn't know what to expect when they contacted me i'm not i wasn't sure if the fragrances were actually going to be good or if they want to smell cheap honestly um these fragrances i think for the large bottle retails for i think 55 dollars so they're not like super cheap cheap but they're not expensive and when you talk about like some of the ones that they're duping it's way cheaper than those so first up is dark temptation and this one is supposed to be similar to lancome uh what's it called Oud bouquet which is like part of the higher end of lancome fra fragrances so this one smells really really good it smells kind of oriental and floral so spicy like a spicy gourmand or it's very it's very complex and this one when i put this on my husband loved it like he said this one like after i told him that the company sent them to me and asked him, like i would ask him how it smelled this one was definitely his favorite and even before i told him that this one was sent to me he complimented me on it and asked me what i was wearing so yeah this smells really good i do like the bottles they feel really really heavy duty so yeah i would definitely recommend if you're interested in oud bouquet from lancome then maybe try this one if you don't want to spend that lancome money very very different than anything i own and smells very good the next one is one of their original creations and it's called f me i'm not gonna say it but that's what it's called and <laughs> i don't like the name but I like the fragrance. It's sweet, but also spicy. Again, it also smells like it has like some fruity notes. It's that type of sweetness. It doesn't. It's not really grow up well. It doesn't really smell like vanilla. It smells more like caramel and fruit, and a little bit of spicy. And this lasts all day. It smells very good. I do not like the name, but I do like the fragrance. So I'm glad they sent me this one as well. This was the one that sounded most like what I would like. Um, so this is one that I actually kind of mentioned that I wanted to try and I'm glad I did. But like I said, I don't like the name. And then the last one is Geneva chocolate. And this is one of the single note fragrances. And this smells like chocolate. It smells so, so good. So good. I can't wait to try to layer this. I want to layer it with um, lost cherry actually and see how that smells. Cause I just feel like chocolates and cherry, like who don't want to smell like that? Like, oh, 
this chocolate smells really good and these fragrances are long lasting uh, the chocolate one I've never worn it out during the day yet but I did wear it overnight and I could smell it in the morning like I said they also sent me some sample sizes or a travel size and then some sample sizes as well so this is what the travel size looks like and it's one of the twist up atomizers that you can spray um, the one that they sent me is called first kiss and it's supposed to be a dupe of um, I think it's called Parfums de Marley. I can't remember which one it's supposed to be a dupe for, but I'll leave it. It's a very expensive perfume, and I actually have not tried this one. So I'll spray it real quick just to see what it smells like, but I actually haven't tried it. Okay, so this smells really good. This one definitely smells more daytime appropriate, floral. Sorry, my camera just cut off, but I was saying that this one smells floral, a little bit of sweetness, but... Just slightly musky as well this one probably be good a good everyday scent it reminds me of something but I can't think of what it is it also smells like a little like herby if that makes sense <laughs> herbal I like it but it's not my favorite I just think it's just not my type of scent and then they sent me three samples um dolled up ancient amber and vanilla dream Vanilla Dream, I've already smelled this one. Smells like straight vanilla. Very good smelling if you like vanilla. Um, I don't know that this would be necessary because I have so many other fragrances with vanilla, but this is a good like just vanilla scent that I think will layer well with a lot of uh, perfumes. And then Ancient Amber, I haven't smelled this one yet. Ooh, Ancient Amber smells really good, but it smells like a fragrance oil. It smells really good though like amber <laughs> it's just this is one of their sing single note fragrances so they're very simple but it does smell really good um definitely won't be for everybody if you don't like amber don't even think you will like that but it does smell really good like amber and then the last one is called dolled up and let's see hmm dolled up smells really good it's a little bit sweet a little bit soapy good for like a day-to-day -day scent i think this could be like a year-round scent it also has like a little bit of floral in it yeah i think this would be a really good like everyday scent i'll have to let you guys know more about these fragrances as i wear them because i like i said i haven't had a chance to wear all of them yet uh but i definitely recommend layered um if you're interested in looking for some different fragrances that don't cost like 300 dollars, you know so check them out i'll leave their website down below um i'll see if they sent me a coupon code i'm not sure if they did but if they did i'll leave that down below so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this super long fall fragrance haul <laughs> i enjoyed doing it let me know if you've tried any of the fragrances that i mentioned or if you've picked up any fragrances for the fall that you're excited to wear and i will see you guys in my next video bye